Welcome back to the 5 Seconds of Courage podcast. We're super excited for episode 3. Uh, we're going to be talking about courage versus stupidity and what the difference is. Sometimes it might be a real skinny, fine line, but uh, we're excited to kind of dive into that and see what we think. Um, last week we talked about kind of the name, 5 Seconds of Courage, kind of what 5 Seconds means uh, and how it applies to our lives and how 5 Seconds can change the rest of our lives, which is pretty cool uh, and an interesting idea going into life. So, but this week we're really excited to kind of going forward talk about courage again. Um, buddy, you want to hit us with like the main point? Yeah, so today we're really just going to be talking about uh, courage isn't always making like the crazy, like adrenaline rushing, like, oh, the biggest decision. It's more about making the wise, right decision that is going to produce the most fruitful outcome, I think, would despite be something. Being afraid. Yeah, despite being afraid. So it's just like, man, I'm put into this situation. I get to choose. Am I going to be courageous or am I going to be, you know, scared and fearful? But it's not just like, oh, well, I'm being courageous in this, but I'm going to do something stupid. It's like, okay, well, then there's another element of it. That's like, oh, I'm going to be courageous in this, but I'm also going to be wise and make sure this is fruitful and not just ridiculous, crazy, yeah. adrenaline rushing stupidity. Yeah. So I think that's kind of what it narrows down to of just like it's a branch. Like if you have, you know, a decision and then you got courageous fear, you know, you can make one of those. Well, then on the courageous side, it's like, OK, stupid or wise and fruitful. Yeah. Um, and so that's kind of the like, you know, the things where it's like yes it's or no. Right. Yeah. And then it's like another yes or no. Well, it's like you got to choose yes for being courageous and yes for being wise and fruitful. Yeah. It doesn't just stop at being courageous. Um, yeah. Sometimes stupidity can disguise itself as being courageous. Because Buddy and I went on this last semester. We were like really starting to think about this podcast and wanting to make courageous decisions. And we were like, let's do something like crazy. Our idea originally was like, let's just go somewhere. And we had this idea, which could have been kind of funny. Yeah, we had rules. One of the ideas was like, let's just go like drive somewhere and just like have to figure out where to stay. No food. Like, and it, honestly, it would be really cool if it wasn't COVID because like we could just go meet someone and stay with them. Like obviously feel safe, be wise about it. But it's like, that could be fun. So that was kind of our goal. But then we were like, eh, there's COVID. We can't just go meet new people. So then uh, I called like my best friend Clayton. I was like, yo bro, we are on the way. I didn't really give him a choice. I was just like, hey, we're on the way. It was like probably six o'clock. We're going to be there in a couple hours. Let's hang out tonight. Let's go do something crazy. Uh, and so, yeah, go from, take it off from there. Yeah, we had, I forget our rules. It was like, it had to be at least two hours away. We couldn't spend more than like. like gas money. I think. Gas. Like one meal. Yeah. It, then, I forget. We had some weird. And, rules. and it, we had to, it was, it was a Saturday night. And so we were trying to get back for church that next morning. So it was like, we have to do it until like nine. Like we got to be back by Columbia by nine. So it was like, it was really just like 16 hours. We we're just going to do some, go do something crazy. Uh, so that part was like courageous. Yeah, like we were like, we know like the risk of not knowing the out. We don't know all yeah. the outcome all the time, but going into it, we knew the risk of getting involved in this thing like the benefits could be pretty good. Like yeah. we're gonna have a fun weekend, hang out with Clayton, it'd be fun. Um, and so that was courageous, but while we were there, we did something that was maybe not quite as courageous yeah. and maybe leaning more towards the stupid side. Yeah, so we were hanging out with Clayton, it was raining, like just pouring down. Like we were thinking about going cliff jumping yeah. uh, that night and it was just like raining and like too dark. We were just like, that's probably not wise. So there we go. That was us choosing one, you know, courageous and wise decision. But then our next thing was like, man, what could we do? We were just chilling. We were talking because Clayton really hadn't met Joseph. So it was good for them to meet. We were talking with Clayton's roommate, Wyatt. Um, and then I don't even know who said it. Probably Clayton. Love him. But he was just like, yo, let's go to the driving range. And as someone who enjoys golf, yeah, likes golf, golf, I was like, dude, it's like raining outside. Oh, Nothing's yeah. worse than like golf in the rain. It's so dark outside. It's kind of cold. Like, that's so, like, what? No. Is it indoor? <laughs> <laughs> so we ended up going. It was great. It was like we were excited, got in the car. That's pretty courageous to go. But when we got there, <laughs> we just like did not even focus on practicing golf at all. It that was, was like, let's, yeah, I don't think we ever had the idea. It was just stupid from the get-go. We were trying to hit a street light that was just probably not the smartest. We were, like, hitting backwards, 
across the street. Well, it wasn't even open, so we had to walk out into the range and like Pick collect up. balls. Oh, and Clayton just started hitting them back at us <laughs> to like, instead of like bringing them or throwing them, he started hitting them back at us. So then it just turned into this, this is the stupid part of like us just chipping them and kind of driving them at each other in it's the like middle fun. of the night, dark. <laughs> raining uh and yeah just definitely was probably not the best decision but in that moment uh whether it was the drive over there or as we were chipping them we were probably like what is making this stupid you know what what it's going through our head during that time so we were trying to obviously we are guys and we were not thinking in that moment like at all you we were just like oh let's go do it no well i was thinking when one of you guys hit a ball and it literally beamed the golf bag that was right, right next to me i was like okay this might not be good but so it's like what makes it stupid and so we were reflecting just like 20 minutes ago about this and what made it stupid was it did disguise itself as like, oh, this is fun and crazy. Like we weren't really thinking anything about it. And so it was disguising itself as like, and eh, this probably isn't the smartest decision. And like, luckily no one got hurt. Luckily nothing happened, but like something could have, someone could have gotten drilled. And so it's just like on our way there or something, we probably all had this idea of like, yeah, this probably isn't the wisest. Yeah. Like it's probably, it's dark, raining, hitting golf balls at each other probably isn't the smartest thing, but we still did it. And so that's kind of where we're moving into of like, when it's, when we're making these courageous decisions, let's like make them with a little bit of wisdom to back it up, a little bit of reward of like, okay, we're running for this certain prize of like not being stupid. Yeah, so we kind of want, we're like, obviously it's a little bit easier to see if it was a courageous or stupid decision after the fact. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah. like, it's like you get your test back and you can see what you got right and wrong. Yeah. So, so because, Right afterwards, you either feel like if you made the courageous, wise decision, it's like, oh my gosh, I was afraid. And now so much weight is lifted off my shoulders. Oh. It's like so relieving, right? When you go, you make the decision despite being afraid. And it's like, I'm not sure how this is going to work. But even if you don't know the outcome yet, you don't know if it's good or bad, you feel that pressure just lifted off you. It's like, oh, finally, like that was so good. But if it's stupid, right afterwards, like, yeah, I kind of like regret doing that. Probably shouldn't have done that. Like, <laughs> yeah. dang it. Uh, yeah, and so that's kind of, we. I had some other moments too that I was talking about of. Oh, yeah. Uh, so one time in high school, we were just some friends and I, and I'm not gonna tell them or anything, but probably not the wisest choice either of we thought it'd be funny to go put soap in a fountain. So like, you know, it bubbled all up and stuff. And before that, we didn't know that it could potentially break the fountain. So we were like, oh, this oh is, yeah, this is like harmless. We're just going to go do it. It'll be funny. Weren't really going to tell anyone. So like, you know, people would see it and we would just be able to laugh. So we went and did it. And like, it took five seconds. You know, it took a second of <laughs> courageousness to get in the car and go do it or to start pointing. But like the whole time I was like, this probably isn't smart. This is not wise. And so you can usually have the discernment beforehand of like, okay, it's probably not. But it's also in that, making the courageous decision to not do something. Yeah. Because that's tough too. It's like, okay, well, we've planned to go do this, but like, what if we stop? Like that takes cor courageousness is the decision to also stop doing something yeah. that you think isn't wise. And that's kind of where I fell into. If I didn't, I made a courageous decision to go do it, but that was stupid. So in that, now I have to make another courageous decision of getting out of it before it's too late. Yeah. And luckily nothing happened when the fountain didn't break, everything was fine. But it's like, I had that opportunity, that decision that we've been talking about to make that five seconds courage of just like, boom, let's not do this actually. You know, we got so many other things yeah. we could do on this Friday night. Um, but we ended up doing it, wasn't the smartest. It was fine though. But I just want to say too, like the reason it's like the craziest decision to say no is because you're afraid to say no. Yeah. You're like, ooh, it's a little scary to like push back against the group right here. Mm -hmm. Like, I might not do that. I don't like this. Um, but being courageous and bold and saying like, hey guys, I don't think we should do this. Like, yeah. we should we should pull back or say no. Like, this is gonna be stupid. Like, that is like cour courage inception. Courage yeah. within courage. You know. Um, it's but a big thing in college too, the oh. ability to say no, is very courageous. That I had to learn. And it took me a second there, but it was like, 
well, you can go make all these decisions and like, okay, well, I'm not gonna, like, I'm gonna go do this, I'm gonna do that. Well, there's also this like decision-making of I'm not gonna do this. Like culture is telling us, oh, get to college and go do this. Well, it's like the ability to say no and be courageous and bold in that. Just like, no, I'm not, you know, gonna go downtown. I'm not gonna go do that kind of stuff. Um, is another courageous decision that's really tough. Everyone's, like you were saying, the whole group is saying, hey, let's go do this. Well, standing out and whether that's, hey, I'm not gonna go do it, sorry guys, I gotta, you know, I'm not going to, or trying to kind of tell the group, hey, let's go do this, mm -hmm. let's not go do that. Um, so that's another way of just getting out of those stupid decisions, whether you've already made them kind of in my choice of like, okay, well, let's go do this and then going back on it, or if you got roped into a decision, and then you have to be the bold, courageous one to be like, you know what, let's take a step back and not do this. Um, I think it's pretty big too. So that's, that's the biggest way we think you can see, you know, the discernment of, okay, was that stupid or was that courageous after and beforehand of a decision is like the risk and the reward type thing of like, okay, well, going into this decision, the outcomes like asking a girl out is what I was using earlier. It's like, okay, well, she could say no, that'd be feel rejected, or she could say yes and now I have a girlfriend. And so it's like, well, let's do it. Like if, yeah. you know, there, that's so much better. Her saying yes is so much better than the chance of her saying no and it's like, okay. Yeah. So it's like in that moment, it's like, well, with the soap in the fountain, it's like, or with the golf balls, it's like, okay, well, the reward is a little bit of fun with some friends. But the risk is like, okay, someone getting drilled with a golf ball, us getting in trouble because we put soap in fountain. Yeah. We were in high school or middle school, I don't even remember what it was. We used to shoot Roman candles at each other yeah. from like close range. Like it wasn't just like, oh, let's try to snipe each other. It was like, well, let's just try to like from five feet. And so um, it was not wise at all. But in that moment, I didn't know that. Like, you know, yeah. you're, you're, it's the ability to make beforehand the biggest thing is to weigh the outcomes and be like okay let me think through this let me try to just take a step back in and, and this is what we were talking about last week of like five curse five seconds of courage isn't an impulse thing because yeah. in that impulse you're probably not thinking of the outcomes you're not yeah. thinking of oh what could go wrong what could happen what's the worst case scenario or you're not thinking of what's the best case scenario yeah. what could happen from this and that, i think that's where we sometimes we grow in fear it's like okay well yeah if i do this this is going to happen. Like, I, I'm going to get no. But, like, if you actually think about it, well, the with asking a girl out, well, it's like, yo, go for it. If she says yes, look at what that could turn into. Yeah. We've both done that, and now we're in some really healthy relationships that are awesome. And so it's like, that's the ability to discern beforehand of, like, okay, risk or reward, and, like, what does that look like moving into a decision and then after a decision as well. Yeah. Um do you have anything after that? What? Yeah, I was just going to say sometimes when you're going in, like, you know the risk. Mm -hmm. um, but even if you're thinking of the outcomes, and best case scenario, if everything goes right and the, like, benefit is still, like, not that good, it's like, why would you even risk it? Yeah. You know what I mean? And so that's just something that we can be thinking about, too, going in and making decisions. Um, whether it's simple, like, relational decisions um, with school or work or anything or it's activities like yeah. kind of the stories weird or even big decisions in life like in two years from now probably we're gonna have to start making decisions of what do we want to do you know we're graduating college where do we want to move what do we want to start working with who do we want to start building with like community wise and it's like taking that decision too is like okay well i got this job offer out I, not me sorry this is hypothetical i have a job offer out in like la could be awesome and like, well, do I take it or do I not? Like, what is courageous in that? And it's like, well, you don't, there's not always like a right or wrong answer either yeah. in these decisions because it's like, okay, well, I could take a job offer out in LA, move out there, start a family, enjoy that. But it's like, nothing's really wrong with that. Yeah. You know, yeah, I did move across country from my family, so I can't see them as much. That's a con. But it's like, there's some pros in that too. You know, I'm yes. out in LA. Sometimes we don't know the outcomes either. Yeah. Like I know in my decision to start to come to the University of South Carolina, like my family lives half a country away. <laughs> like yeah, yeah. that's just so far. And I didn't know what all the outcomes, like, like coming here may have been the stupidest decision ever, but I felt called to do that and come here. Uh, and not because I knew like all the things that were gonna go right, but I felt called here and 
to make that courageous decision. Yeah. Um, and as soon as I made it, like we were talking about earlier, I felt like that pressure and that weight lifted off my shoulders. Yeah. Like, all right, God, like I'm ready. Like, let's do this. Yeah, it's kind of what we were talking about. Of like, can stupid be beneficial? Or yeah. can can okay, wait, maybe we made the wrong decision. Maybe we did didn't do this, or maybe we did do this. What's well, like okay. Yes, that probably wasn't the wisest decision, but we're like, okay, well, what does beneficial mean? And it's like, from a spiritual standpoint, that's kind of like, is it honoring, glorifying God? And so in those moments, if, if, if we were to make a decision and like say, okay, well, that probably wasn't the wisest, or that was probably not the you know, best decision we could have made. Well, it's like, okay, well, let's not just hang our heads and be like, well, we failed. You know, that was a stupid decision. No, it's like, okay, we have this God that's very sovereign, and he like, can even in our stupid decisions make it beneficial to what we were thinking or, you know, use it in some way that's like, wow, okay, God, sorry I, you know, did this. Yeah. Thank you for being such a amazing God that, like, took that, my broken stupidness of not being able to discern, you know, and change me or shape me or change someone else and make this whole situation better. Like, yeah. that's what we, that's the opportunity we have when we can tap into the gospel of like, okay, we have a God that we're serving, that if we stay faithful, we're not gonna make every decision perfectly. Yeah. And it's not like, okay, well, let's stress so much about every decision because if we make it wrong or if we don't do the right thing or if it's a little stupid, it's like, oh no, like our whole life is altered. No, it's not, you know? Yeah. We have a God that forgives. And so moving into that, it's like, we can just, whatever it looks like, if it was something crazy, well then yeah, there's like some repentance and some change that needs to happen. But then after that, it's like, well, we still, we're still serving the same God. Let's continue to make courageous decisions that glorify Him. Yeah, I, I, I think stupidity can be beneficial too, just like in a super practical, like day-to-day -day sense. I was listening to a, um, a ex-Navy SEAL commander, Jocko Willink, this morning. What a name. Yeah, he's a beast. He's literally an animal. Um, and he was saying when some of his subordinates would come up to him and tell him like, hey, like, Commander, we got these problems. Like, this, is, this went wrong or this is not good. He would start with, good. <laughs> and I was like, what? Like, you, you're trying to make the whole thing burn? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but he was like, he always responded with good because there's always like a good outcome. Like, you can learn from it one. Or it's like, maybe this option is better. Um, and here's what you can learn from this or do this differently. And so I think like learning from our mistakes and learning from that stupidity uh, is something that takes courage too because it's True. way easier yeah. to just be like, oh, whatever. Yeah, fall in that apathy of like, oh, well, I can just do that again. It's not actually affecting me. Like, it's all right. I can just keep living in that, you know, repetitive, stupid decisions of like, we keep using stupid a lot, but that's just like, you know, negative condescending towards like, okay, that decision wasn't what was best. Yeah. for me, for the Lord. And so it's like, what does that look like of change and growth? It's like learning from it. Don't do it again. If you do do it again, fix it. Like continue to strive for the courageous, wise decision. You know what is courageous though, buddy? <laughs> Going to our website and buying our new merch. True, let me plug that real quick. No, actually, it's not even a courageous decision because it's so fire, there is no fear in buying our merch. True. Joseph, Joseph has put, put some, some incredible, incredible time and skill into our website. website. We, we got, got merch coming out, and facts. I don't even know what all there is. There's a lot of options. Oh, Stickers, I know. Mugs, tanks, shirts, Dude. hoodies, anything I'm missing. We got a couple different like color variations and designs yeah. of shirts and sweatshirts. My favorite is the tank, bro. I cannot wait to wear a five oh, seconds of shirt, five seconds of courage tank on the podcast. We got stickers. Tumblers, mugs. There was an, I, I could have put underwear. But I was like, that's too far. <laughs> we can get masks. That might be something we do going forward. Is getting some masks. We might be able to. Oh, we might not. Okay. Are the guy with the like supplier we're going with might not. Okay, no worries. Yeah. You know, but if anyone has anything that you might want that we don't have, let us know. We can at least try to yeah, get it. Sure. But how to get there? How to get to the website? In our Instagram, there is a link tree link in our bio go to that you actually can see our apple music spotify youtube twitter um, anything you really want on there where there's going to be an additional link to our website um, for merch and just click that go on there uh, that's one way you can support us but also that's one way you can kind of get the brand out there um, and encourage others like oh 
what is, what's, your, what's your shirt about? What's your hoodie about? And then explain to them, oh, it's like you can get behind us as a podcast and just kind of rep us and, you know, work towards, like that's one way of representing what we mean and also getting the word out there of just like, okay, that's what it means. Let's go do it. Like that's another reminder to yourself. Oh, I'm wearing this shirt today. Let me be courageous today. Yeah, for sure. And I know we talked about, well, I love that one, but I know we talked about um, having these bracelets in the packages with when you order merchandise and we're not 100% sure if we can do that yet, but if we can't, we'll find another way for you guys to get these bracelets. Yeah, um, for sure, but we'll let you know kind of going forward once we contact and figure out the logistics yeah. behind that. But um, guys, we're super excited um, kind of where this podcast is going already. Um, and if you want, like we said, like sharing a bracelet with a friend, um, nothing you can do is just share the podcast with a friend. Yeah, for um, that'd be super easy to just send them a link or share. Repost it on Insta, your story, anything like that would be helpful for us. But then also I think it could really impact a lot of other people. It's like if we can get the word out about what we're doing and get people backing us, it's like, man, there's nothing better than having a community. Because um, one of our things is recreating a culture yeah. that makes courageous decisions together. And I think there's no what better way to do that than just reach people. Yeah. I'm like, hey, you want to join in on this podcast that's just talking about courage and like encouraging people to be courageous and that's kind of what we're going to be talking about soon is just the difference between encouraging and discouraging yeah. uh, and so stay tuned for that I, I don't know what our next episode is but if you know plug it and then let's get out of here yeah I know I think next podcast is going to be um, kind of tying what we believe in and our faith a little bit yeah. into um, what we view how we view courage um, but for real guys like uh we are really excited to hear how you are making courageous or learning from stupid decisions. Um, but seriously, reach out to us, DM us, or any of the ways. I think we got an email coming out on the, on the website. Um, and so basically, we just want to hear all your courageous decisions or your stupid ones too. Yeah, um, but we want to know how your life is um, being changed by the courage, courageous decisions that you're making today. Um, and so thank you guys for listening. Um, we'll see you next week.